Yeah, hello. It's been a while since the Archive Fire support is out. We've driven by Moss for Bitwig. This was back in version 10.0. And now we're up to dot nine. And this brought quite some additions to the Fire extension. And I want to walk you through these new additions. So first thing is now you can click here the select button to toggle the window of the currently selected plugin. This works also for internal plugins. So we can also bring up here for example the window or the polysynth a nice little feature another thing here on the transport area you can toggle now the automation recording so with shift and the stop button you can enable the automation recording for the currently selected clip and with the alt and stop you can toggle here the arranger automation writing let's also toggle here the recording and let's record a little bit here of filter And that's quite handy to have this directly here from the device. Another new thing is you can adapt the speed settings of the knob, how quick you change here, for example, the volume or how fast the faders are. So if you go here into the controller setting and here's your fire setting and at the bottom you have here the knob sensitivity and the slow sensitivity when you combine the knob change with a shift button. And as you see, I, I sped it up a little bit. So normal is a normal setting which is selected out of the box and I sped it up to 10 so it's a little bit smoother and you can increase it to weird values of plus 100 or also slow it down in that minus range so yeah you can adjust it a little bit more to your liking you see this is with plus 10 it's quite nice to go with one turn from zero to full there are also some additions to the shift mode so we have selected here let's select here the drum clip you have now functions to double the content of the clip to duplicate clips and also tracks and to delete clips and track so let's start with the easiest feature is just doubling the content so if i do that you will see the content here of this drum clip has doubled you can also undo it so you see you see the difference again next one is to duplicate a clip there you go here let's go here to the clip view so this works like this you turn on a duplicate mode you see that here with the blinking of the button and then you first select your source clip let's select here the drum clip and then your destination clip so let's go here to that one this works also across a track so if you enable it again so it gets deactivated as soon as you duplicated something you can also if you change your mind you can also turn it off again here the duplicate mode so let's go here you can again let's select that one as a source and copy it here to the other track and as you see this works as well that we have here this duplicated track same is for delete so we can say we have want to have this delete mode it also starts blinking so you see it's enabled and then let's delete that again and also this mode turns off automatically as soon as you deleted something and this works also with track so if you go here to the mix view you see on the top the select the track is also blinking so let's turn on duplicate mode and let's duplicate here the omnisphere track and as you see it's duplicated and you can do the same here with the delete so let's delete this track again and it's gone so nice little handy feature to have also on the device next one is here again in the session view if you do not want to start a clip but only to select it let's have this running and then you can just long press and you see it gets selected but does not start to playback same function is available here for the scene if you just want to select let's say the first scene but not start it you can do that in combination with shift and then you have select the scene without running it and if you just press it you start that scene and as you also might have noticed you see the name of the scene here in the display let's give them for example names here verse and this is our chorus or whatever and then we start here the chorus and you see here in the display it shows chorus and if you go here it shows verse so this is also now nice to do if you're not sure which scene is which you can use it in combination with the shift button and then you say let's select that and you see aha this is my chorus and this is my verse and then you can find your position again and then if you're sure you can start it yeah, there was also the wish for stopping individual clips. So if you want to start stop the playback on one track, so let's start the scene. 
and we just want to start stop the drums then you can use now the stop button keep it pressed and then press the clip so the drums has stopped you can also stop the other one and the playback is still going as you see and uh, if you press stop again everything stops yeah a little feature here in the sequencer let's for example double its content so we get more pages double it again and we have now two pages in the step function so if we choose now to go to the different page you see the page one and if you go to the second it's page two so uh, this helps you also a little bit to get around and understand where you are in your clip so that's it a quick rundown through the new features in standard o and use it and make some funky music